Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the best entry level starter Super C's on the market today. This is a 2021 Nexus Triumph Model 31T. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this uh, Class C and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be looking at this very price point, very affordable and big Class C motorhome. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hi, everybody! How's it going? It's going good. Hey, guys, I'm just wondering if you if you saw our video last night. If you didn't, we have some new merchandise out. Bing! Bing. And if you have, if, if you can help it, wait to buy it until at least Thanksgiving. Yes. Because we are going to be having the Black Friday sale, which will be 25% off, available from Thursday, Thanksgiving to Cyber Monday. Yes. So don't buy some now. Uh, but you can see all the different, all yes, the new all looks the and new everything. All the looks that we have. Yep, and again, uh, Thanksgiving Day, we will be giving a 25% promo code. So just hang on. Let's Thank begin. you guys. Model is 31T, but the actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 31 feet, seven inches. This is the Nexus Triumph. It's their entry level motorhome, and I'm totally fine with that. This is, in my opinion, one of the best entry level Class C's you can get out there on the market. Right up front, we do have a fiberglass front bra with the Nexus logo right there. And the bra means the seam ends right here instead of being on the corner. It's a lot less likely to leak that way. This is powered on an E450 chassis. It do, does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 foot pounds torque, Andrea. That's America. Check out these tires. They got the hand cooked tires, Andrea. LT225 75 R16. And those are some nice shiny rims. Coming down the side here, very basic look on the outside. A lot of people like that, some people don't like it. Not too many stickers and decals. Again, everything they can do to get the price point down. And we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Now, because this is a Nexus motorhome, they do two things that I absolutely love. One, they use a steel cage construction where everybody else is using aluminum. The steel is 72% stronger than aluminum, which means it's 72% safer than aluminum. Also, right here you can see that they do use the Asdale sidewall composite. Look at that awning, Andre, is that nice? That is nice. Nice, nice size awning. Now what the Asdale is, is a green base uh, composite that will never delaminate on you. So what other RVs will use is called Luon. And if there's ever a leak, it will bubble and separate causing delamination. The Asdale, they'll never do that. And they use it on the inside walls and exterior walls. So on the inside, you don't get that formaldehyde smell. You do have the frameless windows throughout the whole motorhome. Right here, Andreas, your propane tank. Look at that, I love that. We have all the tank sizes, lengths, width, specs, everything about this motorhome down in the description below. Also right here, bing, for everybody who is watching on television. And there is an electrical outlet right there. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. All right. We have the water heater. Yep, water heater. And right there. Got some storage. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Now we do have the pinch on the awning, which is good. Yep, and what that means is we go like this if it's the wind's blowing too hard or if it's raining. And you can see how, if you back up a little bit, Andre, you can see how the awning's angled that way. So you can direct where the rain you want it to go. And then right here, oh. we have a little bit of storage. That's pretty nice, huh? That is nice. All right. Is there a propane quick connect anywhere? I don't see it but we can always add a propane quick connect somewhere. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for a stinky slinky. I love that. 7,500 pound hitch. Very nice. Don't tow 7,500 pounds. 
you're good for 5,000. Any, if you, if you want to tow more than 5,000, you have to weigh your motorhome first. You do have a backup camera right there. Also, we do have a ladder to get up on a one-piece, uh, <laughs> a one-piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. All right, Matt, hold on. Here we're going now. All right, up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. We have one AC unit. It is a 30 amp Class C motorhome. Right there's a place for a fan. There's your digital antenna. And, you know, just a couple more places for fans right there. Okay, take your time. Here we go now. Hold on, Matt. Here we go. Last step. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show him what features roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Andrea, what's this wind? I don't know, it came out of nowhere. It's messing up our audio. It is. Let's finish up. Right here's your other side 30 amp power cord. And looks like there's an inverter. Yes, ma'am. And then right here, we have your fixtures and everything. Cable, potable water fill, potable, potable. Sorry for bumping your arm there, dear. I didn't even feel it. Right here, look at that. Enclosed valves, very nice. It's where you dump your tanks, and I like how it's very easy. Pull the enclosed, that's an awesome feature. Right here is where you fill up your fuel. Outdoor shower, very nice. And here's your generator. It is a Cummins Onan 4000 generator. Finishing up. More storage? Uh, oh, no. This is just your battery. Okay. And I don't think this one's storage either. Oh, no, oh, it is. Good. A little bit of storage. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Oh, by the way, somebody told me to stop skipping. <gasps> no. Yeah, stop watching. Keep on skipping, Yeah, man. stop keep watching. Keep on keeping on. Stop watching, Bob 487. <laughs> Nobody's going to change us. Especially not Bob 487. All right, we got to get the cargo carrying capacity. I have a feeling it's up there by the driver door. All right. All right, so here we are. One good thing about Class C's is they, they have a lot of room when the slide's in. Look at this. This is crazy. Look at all this walkway. No problem at all to walk through here. And here's the bathroom. Cargo carrying capacity, 1579. Okay. The bed is accessible, you guys, which is great. So you can use it when boondocking. And Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, we have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like about this motorhome, three things you don't like about it. The more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button, the more people YouTube likes to promote our video. And for those of you who are wondering, on the class B video we did four days ago, we did hit 500 comments. We are selling these stickers, bing! It's a limited edition sticker of Andre and Yuna. 100% of that money is going to an animal charity. We, we haven't figured out if we're doing it to the ASPCA or Humane Society or a local charity. We don't know yet. We will be selling these stickers on Thursday when we give you guys the Black Friday code to the new merchandise. Um, but we thank everybody and no matter what we know that money. Oh, and I'm matching that money and All 50 of those stickers will be going to good places and the money will be going to a good place We just need to find some place. So whatever you recommend just leave that in down in the comments below and we'll figure something out right Andrea Absolutely, perfect Let's begin up here All right up front here in the cockpit area we have the new 7.3 liter engine look at this look at that right there oh man we got the screen that comes out very nice this has the new dash and everything the buttons the blue led lights power windows andre why don't you sit in my co-captain seat oh it feels like it's the chairs all yeah the up. chair's a little up if you can oh that's better much better much better how do you feel it feels just like all the others. Yes, it's a class C. It's a class C. But still, you know, dollar for dollar, I really like yeah. this and it's gonna go away. You have plenty of leg space there? I, I do, I do. Perfect. Yes. What, 
awesome. So yeah, I mean, it, it's comfortable. It's not the most, but it's comfortable. Yep, it's a classy. And then we do have a bunk over the cab right there. This bunk over the cab does hold. Dre, do you know, remember how much it holds? I think it's 500 pounds. I believe it's 500 pounds. 500 pounds up here. Very nice. You have a little light right there so it's not as dark. The curtain for privacy. And then right here we do have a TV, a big TV, on a swing out arm. Very nice. Awesome. And there is the privacy curtain right there. Yep. And the reason why I like this TV is because with that swing out arm, it does, oh yeah, it gives you a great angle to watch TV while you're sitting here on the sofa. The sofa is... Jackknife. Jackknife sofa. Yep, that, let me just show everybody. <laughs> Jackknife sofa, so it lays flat like that. There is seat belts in the sofa. And then we have nice cabinetry above. Very nice. Now everybody, you know what's behind this Nexus sign? Matt, tell, tell him. Oh, you tell him. Um, so say for instance you have a problem and you can't get your slide to come in yep. uh, from the command center. Yep. There's a manual override in here. Awesome. You can bring the slide in. Very smart. So you're not stuck. <laughs> so you're not stuck. Andre, how do you feel about the balances? They're okay. You know, I, I like that they're a solid color. I don't like them, but I don't not like them. They're just neutral. They're just better. Which, and they're better than what they have been. So. Yeah. So sometimes neutral is better than you right. know what they did decide on. Right here in the dinette, this does drop down to make a bed. We do have cup holders right here. Look at this fancy uh, light fixture right there. And you got your window here with three more cabinets. The same on that side as it is what in that side. What kind of shades do we have, Matt? Oh, great question. Just your privacy okay. shades, no daytime shades. And do we have the storage under here? I don't know. Let's find out. The people want to know. The people must know. And they must know that it does not. It does not? Nope. Oh. It's okay. Womp womp. Try that one. Nope, that's screwed oh, yeah, down as no. well. Is it really? There's a handle here. Oh, why would they put a handle here then? I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. It's all good, Andrea. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we got a mirror right there. Yes. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome here is $115,266 MSRP. Sale price, we have it 30% off to $80,999. Wow. That is a phenomenal price for a Class C motorhome that's this long. But Andrea... It doesn't matter what the sale price is, we can always get somebody an even better price than that. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. Are we doing it again? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm so confused. I change things up all the time. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell phone. Or send me an email at mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or what is more recommended is that you go to mattsrvreviews.com. We have uh, three comment sections, and the best thing to do is to do that. Send me an email, and we will contact you because we're not always uh, available to answer our phones when you call. So it doesn't matter which way you do, uh, we will always get you the best price in America. Andrea, let's continue the video. I'm just stunned looking at all this counter space. Look at I'm that. I'm telling you. Hey, Andrea, would you look at that? I know. Look at this. Okay, so here we go in the kitchen, you guys. Got a nice cabinet here. Uh-huh. Storage. I like that there's a window there. Yes. We got a lily pad of power. Yes, ma'am. Backsplash. I like it. I like it. And we got three drawers. Very nice. Size drawers. And, oh, look, there's a lot of storage in here. Man, that's a good size safe. Yeah. And that goes all the way through to the other side look, as well. Right here, too. Yeah, wow. that's good. Wow, very nice. We got this one up here. Oh, adjustable, adjustable shelves. Mm -hmm. And we got a double sink, I think. I like that faucet the way it looks, too. Oh, that one's hard to get up. 
Maybe you have to get that. The heck's going on? Hold this, Andrea. There we go. Nice double sink. And you do have the faucet here that has the extension. Very nice. And we have a microwave. Yes. That's a good size microwave. Very good size. Three burner cooktop. Dometic, absolutely. With a cover here. At least they continued the, the side splash. Yes, yeah, very nice. No oven, we got, oh, good space for pots and pans. If you can see, it goes all the way back. Tons of storage. And then we got a residential refrigerator. Yeah, it's a compressor fridge. Oh, is it? Yep, look at that. Did you see that? Yeah. I, it's already freezing in there. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. These I did new not fridges. Know. Look, look, oh my gosh, you can see yeah. the, the steam we coming had out. It on very long. No, no, not at all. And the generator wasn't running. That, that was just is, off the batteries. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Very cool. Now, here's the split bath. This looks like it's a 24 by 36 shower. Not horrible, not wonderful. It just is what it is. And for a class C, this is nice and I'm comfortable. I have plenty of headspace and everything. So we have this door that would go that way, right? For privacy? Yep. Okay, so we'll close there. And then in the bathroom, we have our medicine cabinet. We have a little sink here. And we got a little nook thingy down there. You do have a fan up there, everybody. Fantastic. And then it's now time for the toilet test. Pedestal. Yep. Uh oh, swinging they, the legs. They, they, they always do this to me. Um, my, my legs always, you know, it's not a prime pooping position because of my legs. Something that is simple squatty potty can fix. I just don't know why they do that. So it doesn't get the four piece. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is an accordion door here on the bedroom. And as you can see, when you walk in here, this wall here is already prepped for the um, coax mm -hmm. and you can mount your TV there. Yep. Why don't you show the bedroom if you squeeze? No, squeeze on this side. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's um, unique. Oh my goodness. Even me, I can't get through. This is not... Is the bed supposed to be shorter? Uh, I think so. I don't know what's going on. I don't know either. That Ooh. just doesn't seem normal. Okay, so there is a step up here to get into the wardrobe. Mm-hmm. So we have a wardrobe here. Very nice. And we have another one here. Yes, ma'am. One drawer. Mm-hmm. And then over here you have a, a nightstand, which is nice because it has a drawer as well. Yes. And then we have these cabinets up here. Look at these lights. I oh, love nice. Like that. Three big cabinets above the bed. Yes, ma'am. And on the other side there, you I still at least it. get a little table there. Yep, a little table right there. Got some good storage right there. That nice headboard right there. I like how it matches the balances. A little bit more right there. Is there storage under the bed? No. No storage under the bed. No. But oh, I'm just wondering if that bed is supposed to be like that. I have no idea. I don't think it is. I think it's it's too Watch long. Watch your step. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. It's a little hot. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give them three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? I say let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, perfect. First, we have to comment on the bed. I have bed. to comment on the bed. I was going to say that too. So, one, this walkway is You can see null. right here. I imagine... So I imagine that this isn't the bed that's supposed to be in here. I don't think so. And with COVID, um, they're just putting stuff in that will work, I imagine. Here's the good thing. You can always get a smaller bed. You know what I'm saying? Um, but as of now, we can't go off of what it could have been. It's how it is now, and I do not like that bed like that. I agree. So that is one. Two. Okay. I would really like to see it get lightened up in here a little bit. Over this bunk, over the cab, I know it's not their thing to do windows, but maybe putting a window on this side or something would make it brighter because it just seems so dark right here. And you know what? Something else I'd like to add. Um, with the LED light strips right here, it does kind of make it darker. Maybe adding like a third light strip. Yes. Or just something to brighten it up. Yes. 
it's not the colors, it's not the looks of the course. Everything's starting to go well. It's just, I, I, I concur, it does feel a little bit darker in here, but it still looks very nice. So that's two, and then number three is a big pet peeve of mine. Oh yeah. I love the size of this microwave. This is huge and awesome, and I hate ovens. Right. But if you take out the oven, you have to make it a convection microwave. For sure. You have to. For sure. You have to, Andrea. You, you have, have to. to. How you can you bake cookies? You have to. <laughs> Great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready for me to go first? I'll go first. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Because you're going to steal it. I know. One thing I will say is I really do like how much kitchen counter space there is. I was going to use that one. And yes. I will say there is a lot of storage. Yeah. No, it, it's definitely amazing the yeah. amount of uh, countertop space that is going to blend into my third thing that I really like about this motorhome. Yes, definitely. But yeah, I really do like it. So two, I'm going to say I love the things that Nexus is that Nexus does to all their motorhomes. It doesn't matter if it's this entry level one or if it's their two hundred fifty thousand dollar Ghost. They use steel cage construction fiberglass roofs as they'll sidewalls and something else i forgot to mention all metal duct work throughout this whole thing it's they're always ducted through and it's less likely for you to get allergies and it's just built better and i think they did i think they do a fantastic job with that a lot of manufacturers they'll feature stuff on some brands but take it away from some of their other brands so i like how nexus does that across the board so that's two see that was a phone call. I might not forget to return our phone call, but if you email me, I check every email. So email is always better. Um, so that's two. And then number three, Andrea, here's what I'm going to say. I love everything about this. I love the simplicity of this motorhome to keep the cost down for first-time RV owners. Absolutely. You know, like here, here's what I'll say. I don't think very many people are trading in their motorhomes now to get this motorhome but i feel like this is the a good perfect, starter the perfect starter motorhome yes. because it gives you everything it gives you the sofa tons of kitchen space bedroom space that space a whole bunch of space and focusing on the stuff that matters and not focusing on the stuff that doesn't matter to help keep that price point down and i love that well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please call me, text me, send me an email, or more importantly, go to the website. It's www.mattsrvreviews.com. Click the contact me form, and that's going to be the best way for me, Andrea, or Will to get back in contact with you about this RV or any RV. Um, Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Sure. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Nexus, uh, they do watch all the videos, so they're yes. going to be reading your comments. Always do. Always, so make sure that you leave your feedback. Um, I forgot to mention real quick that uh -huh. I like this floor. I oh. think this is a change. Beautiful floor. Yes, it's it's different. And that definitely lightens and brightens yes, it up. Yes, it's different from the past uh, models. Yep. But I hope you guys are safe and you guys are well. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget about our new merchandise. Uh, we You can buy it now, but wait till Thanksgiving Day. We are going to give a Black Friday coupon code for 25% off. We will be reminding you all week. Just don't forget that. In a few seconds, if you're in the market for an entry-level Class C, we will have more videos right here of my personal recommendations. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Andrea, we'll see you next time.